Hey, what's up guys? It's Jason from Eustace Rift. I'm coming to you live from a job site today. I want to show you guys the dirty secret on peel and stick. What you need to know about underlayments underneath your shingle, what to use and what not to use and how to use it and how to protect yourself as a homeowner. So we're on a job today that has peel and stick directly to the wood decking of the roof system. And there's a lot of problems with it because the peel and stick melted to the wood like it's supposed to. And then the shingle also melted to the peel and stick and we're not able to get it off. And this is what it looks like right here so this is all peel and stick underneath these shingles some of these shingles they haven't gotten off yet but a lot of this you can see right here you can see it's not wanting to come off the shingle has melted to the peel and stick the peel and stick has melted to the wood we're able to get some pieces of it off but like right here it's not coming off so you can see just how much of a mess is it so this is going to be super expensive for the homeowner and we want to save you from going through that now if you're getting a metal roof system then go for it put peel and stick direct to deck if it's a high temp peel and stick because you're putting on a lifetime roof system and you're able to do that there is no real lifetime shingles and so there's no need to put peel and stick underneath them unless you have a synthetic then a peel and stick and then you got a great roof system so the codes in central florida are you can either do two plies of synthetic or you can do a single ply of peel and stick direct to deck. Now, what's interesting about that is Miami Dade has already tried this several years ago and they found out that this is what happens when you do that. So they changed the code so that doesn't happen. But here in Central Florida and the rest of the state, they just came out with a, a requirement that you can put peel and stick direct to deck. It is absolutely horrendous. It's a bad decision. It's not good for you, the homeowner. So if there's a roofer trying to sell you this, this is what happens to peel and stick. Another thing we realized with the peel and stick direct deck, it seems to have some issues with holding heat and the shingles don't last as long. Now with it on top of a synthetic, there's an area, a gap of air that can move underneath and they last just as long, if not longer. So we've also seen shingles not last as long when you have a peel and stick direct deck. So these are the dirty secrets of peel and stick that roofers aren't telling you because it's expensive for them to double ply it. It's expensive for them to do it right. And it's faster for them just to put peel and stick down. So don't put peel and stick direct to deck unless you're putting a lifetime roof system on like a metal roof system. So what I like to do, I'll show you. On roofs that are low slope or our homeowners need it, I like to put the paper down first. We put a nail in it and we peel and stick to here. Now what's cool about that, Miami Dade allows you to do that because they've learned that that's the process that you have to go through so you don't end up like this homeowner. So that's the dirty secret of peel and stick. It's a great product. I would put it on my own roof, but before I put it on, I would put a synthetic underlayment so I can get it back off in the future and I don't have any issues. Here's how you know this is a useless roofing job site. Look at all this nastiness here, but you don't see it on the ground. And you got a guy down here cleaning the ground, keeping it clean, but look how good the landscape looks. Also look over here, we got all wrap vehicles. This is a real roofing company. We're not a subcontractor. These guys all work directly for us and you can see right here, same thing. This is useless roofing on this job site. We have nothing to hide and we don't have subcontractors.